a band if you want to call it that, powered by the engine houses at the top of each peak. Steam powered, of course, by burning anthracite. It was, in fact, the only powered mechanism on the switchback gravity railroad. Everything else was just gravity, momentum, and brakes. Well, before you knew it, it seemed like the whole world had heard about Mach Chunk and this amazing ride you could take on the Switchback Gravity Railroad. People were coming by the train lines to get in these wide open carriages, sit on hard wooden benches with no seat belts, and be pushed to the top of Mount Pisgah, a 2,300 foot long, 660 foot high mountain. Now, um, the people would get up to the Switchback Depot by uh, carriage. Uh, that's not that's not the st station down in town here. It, all of this existed above us in the gorge in a section we call the Heights. So they get up to the Switchback Depot. I might want to scooch down this way a little bit so you can get a better view. There we go. Kind of work around there. There we go. Hi. Okay. Down into the Barney pit where it's attached to the Barney car. A worker in the little building there rings a bell. That alerts the engineer to start the Barney car. And here it comes out of the pit. Now again, it's just on that cable being pulled up the incline. So anything in front of it, like this passenger car, is going to be pulled up with it. Pretty ingenious way of getting something up a steep hill, right? It would take anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes to get to the top of Mount Pisca. So the people had plenty of time to contemplate what was going to happen next. But they also had some beautiful scenery to look at. Once the cars got to the top, the Barney car would stop. The passenger car would start falling, just with the force of gravity, picking up speed until it was going 50 miles per hour. <laughs> Nothing on earth went 50 miles per hour in the 1840s, so this was mind-blowing speed. Now, I'm going to have to go over here. This is going to happen to Summit Hill. The people would get off there, walk around for a little while, you know, let their knees stop shaking. <laughs> and then they get back on the car and come back down to the original track. And it was downhill all the way. On this straightaway here, they could reach speeds of 60 miles per hour. Wow. And they're in a wide open carriage with no seat belts on. <laughs> it was the thrill ride of the city. And it was the first roller coaster in America. But unlike, whoop, unlike today's roller coasters, 